Okay, can you remember the last video when I estimated where we were at? That's around about where we're at. You get a rough idea, that is how we are looking. Hey Dad. What? It's time. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> love birthdays. Yeah, you just love them. So, what I have here is everything that I am getting Charlotte for her birthday. The hoover is not included. That is just there because, well, I'll need to hoover up afterwards. But anyway, so we have here a bunch of goodies and I'm somewhat known for storing my, my protein boxes or just boxes in general, right? Um, and so for once it's actually come in handy because I have a couple of bits of my protein clothing for her, some leggings and a hoodie there. Uh, a shaker which I'm actually gonna hide something in because I've got these sheets with with like the little gifts I'm gonna put one of them in there so that she's not expecting it She thinks it's just a shaker, but actually it has something else in it. We've got cool little birthday candles here 24 It's my birthday because it's her birthday. Let's party because we are gonna have a party uh, I wanted the actual box to have some weight to it So we've got some some mulled wine that was only a couple of quid some little like sweeties and stuff and she actually has a weird like love for this Antibacteria stuff. It smells like rhubarb and ginger gin. Um, so look, it says method antibac all-purpose cleaner with rhubarb. So it does actually smell like rhubarb and ginger gin. Um, so she really likes that. We have no interest in Coke or Coca-Cola in any way, shape, or form. But this is a cherry cola Coke energy drink. And to be honest, I got us one of each of those because I was just curious. They were like 50p. So. This to make it look pretty, and this has to be one of my favorite things as well. Her dog is called Stanley, and it's like a Where's Wally book, but for Stanley, right? So Stanley is in there somewhere. You can go online. It's a guy called Rod Hunt. Uh, he kind of makes these personalized depending upon your dog's name or what kind of dog you have. I would highly, highly recommend if your loved one or whatever loves dogs and you have a dog together or they, they just love their dog to get this because they can keep something like this. Um, forever plus it's just kind of a fun thing that will keep me amused for a little bit you know so highly recommend that we also got some balloons um, one massive unicorn one which you can stay tuned and see on my Instagram because you guys will be seeing this video on her birthday that's why it's safe for me to put this in the video because you'll have the gifts by that point in time right so Great British Drive-In which is actually uh, we're going to see Elf because they're doing like a Christmas thing it's that thing that we did on my Instagram a few weeks ago we went and saw The Greatest Showman uh, we're going to go back and see Elf around Christmas time and we're going to a hotel and like a Christmas light kind of trail thing for a weekend um, yeah so you guys can see all of that coming in the near future but those are the gifts very excited to 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 give them to her because Obviously, I've, I've put a, a great deal of thought and it's been quite stressful at times to figure this all out. So I think what I'm going to do is put the biggest gift in the shaker because it's like it's just a shaker, right? So I'm going to put the hotel and hide it inside the shaker and put the shaker in there. I think I'm going to put this inside the book and then just shove all the rest in because then she can have like a, a lucky dip of it all and I think it could just be quite fun, you know? Anyway, we're going to be answering some of your questions today, so I'm going to do that as I go along as well. Um, but yeah, just, <laughs> just wanted to show you that. What's up guys, Liam here. Welcome back to Alice JTV. Drop the video a like if you haven't already. Comment down below and subscribe if you are new for my thoughtful boyfriendness. Okay? I hope you're all having a great day. Let's get into it. So, 
open the shaker, roll it up like so. Oh no, it's too tall. I'm gonna have to fold it, aren't I? Look at that. And she will never know. Put it back in the packaging. Good as new. You see, because it's just a shaker, she's not gonna whip it out and make a protein shake straight away, right? She's probably hardly even gonna use the shaker. But she will open everything else and find the other goodies first. And then I'll be like, oh, do you wanna make a protein shake? And she'll be like, no. I'll be like, yes, we should make a protein shake. And then she'll open it and find the final and biggest gift, the hotel, right? I, th I think I'm doing good, guys. <laughs> Seal clothing, can you? Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna do it. First question, let's get into a juicy one. Do you think body power will be on next year? Um <laughs> uh, if I'm honest, I'm I'm not holding my breath. I'm not. Um, of course I would love for it to be on, uh, but I don't think um, things will be fully back to normal to that extent by that point in time. Um, you've got to bear in mind body power is in May. It's not like it's a year from now or, you know, it's six or seven months from now. Um, I don't think you can bank on it being back to normal enough to have 100,000 people in the same room by the middle of next year. Of course, I would love for it to be on and I'm not going to be like, no, it's not on. But I think it just may be just that little bit too early or too soon I should say for it to actually to be on you know having said that though we are looking at the Arnold Expo obviously it's going to be the first Arnold Expo in the UK um, that is in October so that is much more likely if you ask me because it's in October but I just I hope it's on I really really do but I'm not hopeful um, for it being on, if that makes sense. Next question, in a week, how many days are you working out uh, and when is rest day? Um, so at the minute, because I haven't been training legs, um, it's been about three or four. I've kind of changed it to just separating out body parts. It's just how it's kind of worked out the last couple of weeks. Um, but rest day is just whenever I need one. And when I go back to my upper, lower, push, pull, legs split, i.e. five days, it will be whenever suits because sometimes I'm working on a Tuesday or sometimes I'm working on a Monday. I have to kind of base it around my work rather than anything else, you know, and making videos and stuff. I realize that really didn't answer the question properly, but anyway. Next question, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Well, uh, for me, this is an easy question. I would live in a penthouse in New York City. I would live in a massive penthouse where you can see the whole city. Um, yeah, that, that would be like top draw. I would mean, like some awesome place in, in LA or something like that. If we're being honest with ourselves, a realistic answer is somewhere in Birmingham in the next year. <laughs> um, but a, uh, if money was no option or I won the lottery or something, Actually, what I've always said is if I won the lottery, I would buy a car park, right? Because what do you do if you have a car park? It's just some gravel, right? That creates you this money and you have to fix any of the potholes and stuff and that's a bit of a ball ache, but it's fine. But you buy the car park, you buy the land and you get the permission to, to put a car park on it or whatever. And that's it, it just sits there and makes you money. So if you ever win the lottery, guys, or if you ever have a good business that allows you some, some income, supplement income, Buy a car park, 100%. But yeah, I would live in New York, um, definitely. Defin I've never even been and I just know I'm gonna love it. Um, that moment when I eventually finally get to go, because it will happen and I will record it, um, I will more than likely cry, just so you guys are aware. You couldn't be wondering what all of these bottles are when actually it's just two bottles of sweets and some mulled wine. <laughs> this is just some popcorn, do I wrap the popcorn? Do I really wrap the popcorn? I'm gonna wrap the popcorn. 
Oh no, not big enough. Check the badge out, by the way. It's the best thing in the world. Am I right? Um, I'm all right, I am right. I'm gonna wrap the two and the four as individual gifts so that she has more things to open. Then it looks like I bought her more, right? So the two and the four birthday candles are getting wrapped for one and wrapped separately for two, you know? As us gym junkies know, it's all about volume. Let me wrap the shaker. Oh shit, anyone else try and glide and then fail halfway through? Yes, everyone just said. He said no, some kind of evil genius. She's gonna think I got her the shaker because she saw mine and said it was cool. So she's gonna think that I specifically bought her this shaker and go, and go oh, that's, that's amazing, thanks. Next. And then she's gonna open it at the end. Uh -huh. And this arrived just as well. I bought her some sour strips and I forgot. Ooh, do I give her the box like this? Or do I open them and individually? No, I should just give her the box, shouldn't I? Yeah. Check it! It looks better already! Yeah! I feel like some things, because there's a lot of glass in there, it might get damaged. So I'm gonna wait and I'm getting a my protein, an actual my protein package delivered later. So I'm gonna use the bubble wrap from there, stick it in there so that the stuff doesn't break. But uh, that'll do quite nicely for now. On to the next question. Let's go see Jesse, shall we? Well, this is a backwards compliment if I've ever seen one before. I'm assuming you're natural, would you ever consider changing to unnatural to grow? So he's basically saying, um, you look small, would you ever take anything to get bigger? <laughs> um, <laughs> my response to this is fairly simple really, I can't say it's on the cards, I have no reason to take something, I go to the gym to look a bit better and feel a bit better, um, I don't go to become Mr Olympia, so probably a no for the foreseeable for that. What do you reckon Jesse, huh? What do you reckon? Should I should I take you and get massive? Huh? Should I take it? Should I take it? Oh, should I take it to get massive? Yeah? Yeah? Is that a yes? Is that a yes? If I lose my natty card puppy, it's your fault, huh? Huh? It is actually now time for some oats. I'm gonna go for the street waffle flavor today. We are also reducing our well-known recipe from 50 grams, wait, no, from 60 grams to 50 grams. So I'm gonna weigh it out like so, and the ratios do have to change. The reason I'm changing it is because it is Charlotte's birthday tomorrow, and I'm gonna have a lot of food. So I'm kind of just cutting a few calories down um, today and yesterday to kind of allow for a few more calories tomorrow sort of thing. Um, yeah, all good, all about balance, you know? So 50 grams on there, top it straight up with boiling water and we are gonna aim for around about the 300 gram mark. So slightly more, 301, there we go, that will do. So we're gonna give that a little bit of a stir, let that soak in for a minute before we actually put it in the microwave and then we will let it cook, let it sit, and let it do its thing. Next question. I have COVID ATM, how can I not put any weight on when I can't exercise properly? First of all, um, I hope you are well and I hope you recover um, safely. But if you are not exercising and you don't wanna put on any weight, the chances are you might put on a little bit. But if you don't wanna put on any weight, then you can just reduce your intake. Obviously, if your expenditure is lower because you're not out and about and stuff, you're inside. Um, just reduce your intake. A little bit like what we're doing here, but for different reasons, obviously. So, um, get well soon and rest up. <coughs> These same 60 seconds for the oats, we are mixing it with the street waffle flavor today, which is definitely up there with the salted caramel flavor. Um, this, it just really turns it into a nice thick gloopiness. I don't know whether it's just the flavor or how this one is formulated or what, but you can use even more water than you normally would because it makes, it thickens it. So you can use more water, therefore get more volume, and it still thickens the oats just because. Very specific to the street waffle flavor though, beware. All of that, 50 grams of oats, 50 grams. Whether you are dieting or whether you are trying to keep a bulk lean, always, always look for high volume foods. And if you make your oats right, you can have a lot of volume for not a lot of calories. You just have to follow my recipe, you know? Stir and flip, stir and flip, and then you go for it. See how much water we put in, and if anything, we could have put more water in because it's just a little bit too thick. So, you know, you guys get my point. LSJ at checkout, and thank me later. Hello, I just want to make the moolah la Oh, I'm just gonna moolah la yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah.
Yeah. <laughs> okay, next question. Uh, what was it? Something along the lines of perfect clothing. What's your perfect dream outfit to work out in? Fabrics, function, style. And that's from Lloyd, who actually designed the clothes that I am currently wearing right now, right? So this Velocity collection, pretty much anything that's coming out over the next few months, um, I think is gonna have been designed by Lloyd. So that's pretty cool. Despite that, it is a very difficult question to answer. So I would say something kind of stretchy. I, d I don't know, it depends on the mood and it depends on the workout, right? If it's legs, I prefer something oversized, like the Raw Training Collection. I love training legs in that. Um, or oh, fabric, some, some kind of heavy cotton for legs, some kind of like thick, dense material for, for, for legs, oversized. For a push day or something like that, I would say something a bit tighter, maybe something more like this. Um, material, nice and stretchy, nice and tight on the guns. Mm, what else? In terms of the style of it, for the leg day one, I would say sort of toned down, um, more neutral kind of colours, whether it's a black or like a, a grey or whatever, pastel -y kind of thing, like the Raw Training Collection, or for the upper body stuff, I would say like more brighter colours, um, just because then you have a contrast, you have the option of both, right? I, d I don't know, but the question was to pick one. Um, the answer is I don't know, Lloyd, for anything made by you, my friend. Now, you might think I'm joking when I say that, but I actually didn't know that any of the stuff that I've had recently was made by Lloyd until, well, like two days ago. So all of the stuff and all of my opinions on the clothing are, are legit. Like, I'm not just saying it because I'm like, you know. Have you seen the new Apple M1 chip for MacBooks meant to be the best in the market? Mm. I have seen this, the whole Apple Silicon thing, like, MacBook, I use a MacBook to edit. I'm in the kind of Mac ecosystem. I have an iPhone. Everything that I use is, is Apple, generally speaking. Um, so yes, I have heard of it. I do like it. I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, I'm holding off though. I would like a new laptop, but I'm holding off to see whether there's any issues um, with it first. Obviously, it's their first time kind of doing it for themselves, doing using their own chip. Um, so there could potentially be problems with it. So I'm holding off for a little while to see if they can iron those out um, or if there is any issues or not. But yeah, that's it, I suppose. I hope you're enjoying this. I love doing Q and A's. I try and do them once a month to kind of update you all and give you guys a chance to feature on the channel and stuff like, and to be honest, it's they're the easiest videos to make. I can just sit back and relax and talk to you guys, talk to the camera, you know? So yeah. I hope you are enjoying it. Drop it a like if you are. Now you guys know me, of course we washed that oats bowl, a bowl of oats, bowl of porridge, whatever you want to call it. We washed it down with a glass of OJ. And the banana as well. But anyway, I think we will leave it there. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Kept it nice and raw, nice casual vlog today. A lot of things have been training related or clothing related lately. Um, so I wanted it to just be a chill without um, kind of video. So I hope, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, sorry if I didn't manage to get to your question. We actually had a ridiculous amount more than we normally would, uh, which is awesome. Of course, it's great that you guys want to get involved um, as much as possible, but it does mean that you know, I can't get to every question like I used to be able to because <laughs> I used to not get as many. So it's good because we're going in the right direction numbers wise, but um, yeah, it does mean that I can't get to every question. So I, I apologize, but I will do my best next time. Remember, we do do these Q&As monthly. We try and do them every three or four weeks, generally speaking around the middle of the month, something like that um, is when it tends to be. So stay tuned for the next one and maybe get involved. Drop a comment, like this video if you have enjoyed it. Stay tuned on my Instagram for all of the birthday content coming up fairly soon. I'm actually really excited to give her all the gifts because it was quite stressful to be honest. So middle of a pandemic and all that. I'm not a fan of buying her clothes and stuff. I prefer experiences. So um, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully she likes it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Together we will grow. Oh, one more thing. I'm filming a video for my protein right now. Hopefully the package is going to arrive any minute now. I'm actually filming a video for their channel. Not this channel, for their channel. So that's pretty cool. You can stay tuned for that very, very soon. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching. Together we will grow. And I will see you in the next one.